Hi, I'm Tim, the cheap 3D printer. It's been a couple weeks or it's been a week or so since I last posted a video about what was going on and the reviews of different filaments and the different things that we've been doing as we've been trying to print cheaply but still have quality. And I wanted to let you know why it's been a little while since I posted a video. Well, I had some problems with the ANET A8. I love the printer. It's been great. But... I had a problem with the main board. I'll show you what uh, took place here. You can see right here there's uh, still a print on the bed. I just got done printing. I'm printing something actually for my wife. She's a music teacher. So I'm printing something for her. But what happened was uh, a week or so ago, about a week and a half ago actually, I was printing or getting ready to print and I had was getting ready to level the, the board, to level the heat bed. And my nozzle contacted the edge of this heat bed, and it sparked. I saw, I physically saw the spark, and suddenly my thermistor was no longer reading on the main board. So um, I tried a different thermistor, thought maybe I just messed up the thermistor, grabbed another thermistor that I had left over from when I changed over to the E3D clone, and tried a different thermistor, still reading the same. It was reading uh, like 300 degrees. So I determined that something was wrong with the main board. I went into the Marlin firmware. I changed the pinout to where the temperature reading was reading on the heat bed uh, setting and decided I would have just no heat bed for the time being so I could print some things. And that worked for a little bit and I'm assuming that the hot end came in contact again with the uh, aluminum heat bed. I don't know for sure, but I'm assuming that's what happened. And it blew out that setting, that uh, those pins also. So, then it was back to the drawing board for a little while, and I rush ordered a uh, Arduino Mega 2560 from Amazon, and a ramps board from Amazon. And you can see over here that I've switched everything out. I also ordered the DRV8825 drivers and got things put together and ready to go. Um, it took me a couple hours or maybe about an hour or so to get everything switched over. And it is running fine. The only problem that I have is I did not order an adapter for the LCD screen. So you can now see that I do not have an LCD screen. You can hear that the fan is running, so the printer is actually running, um, or the printer is on, but the LCD screen is not working. So what I did to make do was that I stole from my son his Raspberry Pi Model B. It's, uh, it's just Raspberry Pi 1, but it's the Model B, and put Octoprint on got it running and now i am running this through octoprint it is running great um no problems so far the new drivers that i put on actually cause the motors to run quieter so it actually is quite a bit quieter than it was before in the way of the motors um it's running well a couple things that you have to take note of if you decide to to do this uh put a new main board on do the arduino um, one of the things you have to keep in mind is that you have to make sure that you have the right steps per millimeter. The uh, DR8825 drivers, they are 1 32nd step drivers. You can do them 1 16th and you can do them 1 8th also, but at 1 32nd they do twice as many steps as what the old drivers did on the uh, a net board so you'll need to make sure that you change that in the firmware and make sure that you change the board um, on the firmware but other than that you pretty much take your firmware from marlin for the a net and you transfer it over to the new board and it works great um, so yeah i'm back up and running on this uh cheap 3d printer on this uh, ANET A8 or A Lunar M505 is actually the original, the actual model that I have, but it's a, it's an ANET A8, and 
total cost, total cost to get back up and running was somewhere around $35. Um, so you can do that too if you need to, if you find out that you blew your board. Uh, personally, I wouldn't buy another ANET board. I would buy the Ramps board. I would buy the uh, Arduino Mega uh, board, the Arduino Mega 2560 board, and the Ramps 1.4 board. I know that uh, some other people would prefer you go to the Rambo board or some of the other boards, but they're more expensive. We are trying to do this as cheap as possible and still get the quality that we need. The Ramps board will give you that quality. Um, you don't have to move to the, to the Rambo board. Yes, the, the Rambo board does have some other features that are nice, or you could even go with the uh, uh, INC board from uh, Ultimaker and go that route. Um, but you don't have to. You can use this board, you can use the Ramps board, you can use the Arduino Mega 2560 and get great results. So uh, leave a comment below if you like what I'm doing. Make sure you hit subscribe. Hit the like button on the, uh, on the link and uh, help me out there. And we'll continue to see what we can do to print cheaply uh, here on the cheap 3D printer. Take care.